Okay, so I'm just gonna just a little tidbit on a uh, quick way to make a uh, actually a, a watertight container out of a thin piece of uh, birch bark. Okay, here we have a uh, a white birch or a paper birch, and you can tell because here's the lenticles we were looking at earlier in uh, the birch bowl, uh, birch bark bowl video up here. It's, some of the bark is peeling already. Uh, it's early spring yet, and uh, it's otherwise it's a white birch or paper birch, but um, it's kind of cool stuff. It's fun stuff. It's very pliable, uh, and once it fully dries, it's going to be very dense. So you can write on this. Um, there's different patterns that I understand you can do with biting into it, etc., etc. So this is what this tree looks like. Uh, uh, but there but 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 there's gonna be some aspen trees and I'm gonna show the con the contrast because they're they look similar but they're not the same. And uh you can tell the birch because of the the lenticles. Here. And that was a robin. They're back. That's them making that noise. Oh, it's a birch. Okay, I've cut a square or a rectangle on uh the birch here. And um, I'm not um, I'm not ringing the tree. You never want to ring a tree by when you harvest the bark, because you're harvesting the bark. Uh, the bark is what uh, gives the nutrients from the soil uh, up through uh, to the to the leaves. If you ring a tree, you kill it. So you take portions, and in the case of this birch bark, you're gonna have like a, a layer here. It's very flexible, and you can see this layer underneath here. It's kind of cool. It smells really good. Birch has a distinctive smell. So I'm gonna see if I can try to peel this off. Um, I'm gonna need both hands, so I'm gonna cut the camera off so I can gently and carefully harvest this without uh, 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 ruining what I'm trying to harvest and destroying the tree. All right, just a quick tidbit here. Um, I'm just regurgitating some knowledge that I saw, uh, found out online uh, on making a real quick, uh, quick and dirty uh, birch bark container and uh, the the reference that I'm citing below is um, this uh, uh, Nishinabe or uh, Ojibwe elder uh, making um, a container that looks a little bit better than this uh, right now um, uh, out of uh, birch bark and then using basswood to lash it together and really she just folded the ends in overlapping each other use an awl and then thread the, the uh, the lashing and tied it together and then uh, so basically I'm just going to show this is kind of what the finished piece would look like uh, please please be sure to check out the video uh, below and uh, essentially how you know this was folded was pretty much like this like so and then the awl was poked through there and then it was lashed together and then the other side would do the same so I guess like if I was to take this and use this clothespin to hold that together for me temporarily I would do the same and we'd have a a, a uh, container similar to what she had created um, and uh, I was able to find some thin pieces of uh, bark from actual birch bark tree and uh, uh, it, it works pretty good it's in and it's gonna be watertight so um, I'm just gonna put some water in here and again this is what the, was they used or what is even still used um, to collect and harvest um, sap from birch uh, and uh, sugar maple so here's a better example. Um, so this is watertight, and uh, it's holding the water. Oops, out of camera. And uh, this is what you collect the sap in, and uh, then you 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 carry it over to a vat and, and heat it up and process it down to either sugar uh, or uh, syrup or sugar. So this is a real quick and dirty one. Be sure to check out that video uh, so you can actually see the proper way to do it. Uh, this is just my rendition or my version.